super cute. I just had these mini braids to twist that I've kept in for about, I believe, almost three weeks. I used to like to wash my hair every two weeks in the protective hairstyle, but this has been helping my hair grow so much and I usually don't wear it up like this, but then I just tried it out and it's getting cute. You guys know when I find a new hairstyle or I find something I like, I get super obsessed with it. So you guys will probably see my hair like this for a while. This shirt I got from Shein. This shirt is not even a workout shirt, but it was cute and I was looking for something that was black to match the legging. Here are the leggings, if you guys can see. Just the simple brown leggings that I got from Shein. So today we are doing a gym vlog. I put on my community poll which workout you guys wanted to see. Full body and abs and lower body were in the lead, so I decided why not put them together? and just do a full lower body and abs. So this workout is going to be an amazing workout that you can do if you are running low on time, you don't have too much time to be in the gym, but you want to get a quick sweat in. So that is what we're going to do today. I'm going to take you guys to the gym with me. These are the whitening strips that I use. This is the Go Opalescence Tube Whitening. This is not sponsored, but I honestly love this product so much. To show you guys how I get it. these white beautiful teeth okay it's because of these teeth whitening now the thing is with this it can cause your gums to be a little bit uh not swollen but like it can cause a little bit of discomfort in your gums so i don't put it on my teeth for too long but usually people leave it in for 20 minutes sometimes even 30 but literally 10 minutes that's all you need and your teeth will literally become so white if you guys didn't know i used to have braces so i go every six months to get my retainers checked and make sure everything's okay so i picked up a box of these gave it to me for half off because i did have some credit on my account but you can get it from your orthodontic office you can get it at amazon you leave them in for i usually like to do it for 10 minutes sometimes longer it's not bothering my gums that much and that's pretty much it and then you just have to make sure to wash your teeth afterwards and that is it so i got these for my birthday my birthday is coming up october 13th and we're going on a little birthday trip which i don't know where we're going it's a surprise and i just needed some of these because i want beautiful white teeth for my birthday and i just got all the other things that i needed for my birthday just getting things ahead of time booking appointments ahead of time so that way i'm not rushing last minute this is my 26th birthday and i feel like something might be coming up something might be happening on my 26th birthday so i gotta look my best so we're gonna head to the kitchen to get some breakfast and then we're going to head to the gym so i will see you guys in the kitchen <laughs>
Guys, it feels so good to do a gym vlog. I feel like I haven't posted one in so long, so this is way past due. We are doing full lower body and ab circuit. This workout took me about 20 to 25 minutes, just depending on how long of a break you take in between each set. But it's short, simple, to the point. It's breaking all of your lower body, your booty, hamstrings, quad, and your core. So this is a great workout. I feel like lower body and abs just go so good together. Literally chef's kiss. So we are doing three super sets two exercises each super set back to back and then at the end of this workout i'll show you guys a little bit of an ab circuit that you can put in between each super set so we are starting off with a squat to shoulder press so we're working our quads while working our shoulders as well i used to literally shy away from full body circuits for quite some time but i just got back into the habit of it especially when i started to do pilates again and i am so glad that i started to do them it's just a great fat burner great way to get your heart rate up and it's a great way to get your workout in when you're running low on time so now we are super setting the squat to shoulder press with a rdl to reverse lunge now with this with an rdl of course we're going to slightly bend our legs at a 30 degree angle and then we're going back into a reverse lunge so we're going to do one side for 15 seconds and then the other side for 15 seconds so we're going to do this super set three times back to back and then in between each set you can take about 30 seconds to a minute break Our next superset is kettlebell swings to a squat. Now this can be challenging. If you're not able to do the squat with the kettlebell swings, then you can just go ahead and do the squat by itself or the kettlebell swing by itself. It is totally up to you which exercise you want to do. When it comes to kettlebell swings, we want to be extremely explosive, okay? We're not gonna do the kettlebell swing when we're squatting down and then we're swinging the kettlebell forward. We want to bend at our hips and really emphasize each swing. I do recommend doing a moderate to heavy weight to just challenge yourself a little bit more and now we're getting into a double pull squat to a jump now you can do this exercise with or without your a maria fit band you can use the marble booty band which i do recommend just using like a medium size resistance band and you can get one from my website if you do not have one already and then we're going to superset this with a reverse lunge to a knee up now i love this exercise because you really need to focus on your balance this exercise will definitely help you with balance and stability getting better of both worlds we are going to a reverse lunge to work our legs and then we're going up to a knee up to really engage those core muscles make sure you are going slow and controlled because this can be a challenging exercise Okay, so now we are done with those two supersets. So we did those back to back with a break in between each set. Now we're gonna get into some abs and core. Now you can put this in between each superset or you can save them for the end of your workout. I usually prefer to do it in between each superset just to give my abs a break because doing it back to back, your abs are going to burn like crazy. We're getting into some Pilates movements. We're doing a leg raise with a little crunch at the top of each rep, making sure you're going slow and controlled. When it comes to core movements, I feel like everyone thinks that we have to go super fast, but that is not the case if you really want those core muscles to work go slow you will feel the burn the slower you go and next we're going to superset this with some bicycle crunches but we're going to do like a little one two three tap on each knee and we're just going to go back and forth we're doing all of these for 30 seconds each and then we're taking a break in between each set Guys, I used to be literally horrible at side planks. Literally, when I started Pilates in December, I couldn't even hold it up for 10 seconds. So I am just proud of myself that I can finally hold it up for 30 seconds and I can do different movements when it comes to a side plank. Now with the plank, this is working those obliques. Those are the sides of your abdominal muscles. And then we're doing a little side plank with a tap. You can use a five pound dumbbell or whatever kind of dumbbell that challenges you. Working our obliques, holding it for 
30 seconds total and then we are super setting this with some ab rollers i haven't did this in so long but y'all it felt so good to work those lower core muscles make sure when you're doing this you are extending all the way down so you can really really feel it in those lower abs so we're gonna do a set of this if you don't have access to an ab roller do not worry just substitute this for standing marches we're going to hold a kettlebell or a dumbbell right over our head i believe i'm holding a 15 or a 20 pound kettlebell to just challenge my abs a little bit more with this you have to engage your core in order to feel it in your lower core muscles so we're just going to march back and forth for 30 seconds making sure we're engaging our core breathing through every rep okay. So now we're gonna finish the workout isolating our glutes with a glute hip thrust machine or you can use a barbell, dumbbell, whatever your gym has to offer. This is my first time using this machine. It literally makes doing hip thrust so much easier. We're gonna do three sets. I know this is gonna be challenging, but just bear with me, okay? So we're doing our first set. We're doing a set of 30. But we're doing the first 10 reps slow and controlled as you see and then we're going to pulse at the top of the rep for 10 reps and then we are going to finish with a 10 second hold so actually 20 reps not 30 but we're going to add on weight on each set so i just added on a 45 pound plate for each set you can add on however much weight you want or you can just stay at one weight whatever feels challenging to you but we're going to do the 10 10 10 rule 10 seconds going slow and controlled 10 pulses at the top of the rep and then we're doing a 10 second hold for each set so that is how we are going to end off this workout with a great booty burner so we just got done with our workout now we're at monette's market which i'm so surprised i haven't tried this out i just now realized that it's not really that far from my house and i heard that they have really really good stuff here so i am excited to try it out but we are on a new diet i am trying out a kind of animal-based diet i know there's some controversy about what you can and can't eat with an animal-based diet but basically what i'm doing i'm eating the same exact thing that i usually eat on a daily basis the only thing i am cutting out is starchy carbohydrates so i'm not eating potatoes brown rice um oatmeal things like that pasta i am not eating anymore um i'm only eating animal based foods so we're having our meats and poultry having whole eggs i am still adding in fruit fruit is just something that i can't take away from my diet i'm primarily eating red meats i'm still eating chicken fish things like that eggs but I'm just not eating those starchy carbohydrates anymore. I just wanted to try something different. I feel like through this new like aspect of my fitness journey, I'm more about a holistic approach more than anything, more than like my physical appearance. I feel like I've been working on my physical appearance for so long and it's time to start working on internal health that matters the most. So that's why I'm like switching up what I eat and being mindful of what I put into my body just for health reasons. I really want my body to be in its best shape physically outside and the inside. So I'm really excited to try out this new habit of mine. If you guys want to see more of like what I eat in a day, then please comment down below. But yeah, I can show you guys like what I eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner being on an animal-based diet. It's been going good so far. I've only ate, or it's only been one week, so I really can't tell you guys like how I personally feel, like how my body is like reacting to this because it's only been a short amount of time. So I will check in again, maybe around the fourth or fifth week mark. But we are at Monets and we are almost out of fruit. We have no berries left and y'all know that like I'm obsessed with berries. So we're going to get just some berries, any water, and just a few extra things that we need in the house to get ready for the week. I don't have a jacket. This is the only shirt I have that I wore at the gym. I really don't want to wear this in uh, the grocery store, but this is all I have. I have a jacket, but it's too hot. It's way too hot to put that on. So we're just going to have to, we're just going to have to go in our little crop top. That's okay. I'm going to be in and out the store, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into the grocery store.
So before we end this video, I'm gonna need you guys to help me out and I will give back in return. So if you guys didn't see on my community poll, I am having another mini giveaway. I have my first giveaway at 1,000 subbies and I'm going to do the same thing. And you guys can choose what you want from my merch line. So make sure you vote on my community poll. And comment down a heart emoji in your favorite color down below in the comment section so that way this video can be pushed out to a broader audience and that way I can get more engagement on this video. So we have to do it y'all. We are so close. We are like less than 30 subscribers away from 3k and if you guys want more content and want to see more of me then you have to start engaging so that way my videos push out to a larger audience. So make sure you comment that heart down below. If you made it this far in the video I do appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this mini vlog. Make sure you guys follow all my socials to stay connected with me and I'll see you guys in the next video.